This is the for practice example 5.14 on page 197 of your text. And in this problem, we're going to apply the concept of oxidation states to help us keep track of electrons in order to assign and identify which elements in this reaction are oxidized and which element is reduced. So remember, oxidation is loss of electrons, so it means we would be getting more positive, and reduction is gaining electrons, meaning that we'd be getting more negative. So I'm going to look at this reaction, assign oxidation states to every element, and see what is different between my reactant side and my product side. So first up, we have tin as a solid by itself in its natural state. So therefore that would have an oxidation state of zero. Next up, we have to assign hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen in the compound HNO3. So according to the rules, typically hydrogen in compounds exhibits a plus one oxidation state and oxygen exhibits a minus two oxidation state. And to figure out nitrogen, we're going to have to add everything up together and figure out what nitrogen needs to be in order to give an overall zero charge. So if we have one hydrogen, that's contributing plus one, plus something nitrogen, added together with three times negative two contributed from the oxygen. That's gonna be three times negative two, negative six is equal to zero. That's gonna mean that nitrogen, we have positive one plus negative six, that's gonna give me negative five. That means nitrogen has to be positive five. So hydrogen is plus one, nitrogen is positive five, oxygen is negative two. Moving on to the next side, we have tin oxide. So oxygen in compounds typically minus two. Since we have two of them, it's gonna be whatever oxidation state from tin plus negative four contributed to the oxygen, from the oxygen gives me zero. So to figure out 10, it's whatever plus negative four gives me zero, which means 10 is going to be positive four oxidation state. And then we move on to NO2. So oxygen, once again, typically minus two. If we have nitrogen plus negative two times two, which is negative four, gives me zero. That means that nitrogen in this state also has to be plus four. And then finally, we have H2O. Hydrogen in a compound is typically plus one. Since I have two of them, they contribute plus two charge. Oxygen is typically minus two, but let's test to make sure that if we add these together, they give us zero. So hydrogen's plus one, since we have two of them, they give us plus two total charge. And if we add that with minus two, that should give us zero. So those check out. Now begins the task of figuring out what's oxidized and what's reduced. So let's look at oxidation first. And the way we figure out what's oxidized is we look and compare the elements on <clears throat> both sides. So if there, is there something on the reactant side that starts off um, with a lower oxidation number than it has in the product side? So we can start with tin. The reactant tin is zero oxidation state, but as a product, it has a plus four. So I think we've already found a difference. If we're going from zero to plus four, we're getting more positive, which means we are losing electrons. Because remember, electrons themselves have a negative charge. So going from zero to positive four, 
means that we are be oxidized, which means we're losing electrons. So down here, I can write that the element tin is oxidized. And I'm going to rewrite that a little lower. Tin is oxidized. Now, there should be another element that it becomes more negative. You have to have redu reduction and oxidation occur at the same time. So we figured out what was oxidized. Now our goal is to figure out what is reduced. So if we compare hydrogen on both sides, its oxidation state does not change. It's still plus one, so that's not our culprit. Nitrogen as a reactant is plus five, but as a product, it's plus four. So we figured out that there's a difference here. And if we think about it, plus five, going to plus four, that's becoming more negative. Therefore, nitrogen is being reduced. So nitrogen's going from positive five to positive four, and in the process, it's becoming more negative. That means that it's being reduced because it's gaining electrons. So for my answer here, nitrogen is reduced. So that's how you use oxidation states, which you assign, to figure out which element is oxidized and which is reduced in a um, reaction, a redox reaction specifically.